Hey guys, Video Pirate here, and today I was going to take a look at these VHS tape rewinders in the shape of cars. Then I realized I would have been a really short, boring video because they don't really do too much, they just rewind tapes. And I tried to do a little bit of research on them and surprisingly couldn't find that much. But one thing I did dig up was uh, this ad right here from the 1987 Sharper Image catalog. And uh, what it says is, put in rewind and floor it. Save your VCR from unnecessary wear and tear. Rewind your cassettes on new auto winder. Pop in a VHS tape, close the lid, and the sleek sports car rewinds your two hour movie in just under four minutes. Meanwhile, you can enjoy your next video. Headlights come out automatically while the tape is rewinding. When completed, the lights go out and the tape automatically ejects. All right, but it was this next part that actually got me thinking for a second. It's uh, your delicate video heads are spared the abusive effect of hundreds of feet of tape spinning backwards. And I read that and I thought that was pretty much like the biggest overstatement of the century because I pretty much always assume that if you hit stop and then rewind on a VCR, that the tape is no longer going backwards across the head. Um, I guess I could be wrong here, but I figured that there was one way to find out, and that was to uh, open a VCR up and see what happens when we rewind a tape. So I got this VCR here. This is uh, Samtron. It was pretty much one of the last VCR, standalone VCRs that Walmart sold. So as far as VCRs, it is fairly modern. So uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see uh, you know, how it works. And should open up pretty easily. There's just two screws on the back. And let me get this open and we'll be right back. All right, well you may be wondering what happened to the lights here. Turns out that a VCR will act like it's possessed if you take the case off and shine bright lights inside of it. There just so happens to be a photo cell that tells the VCR if the tape inside is at the beginning or the end. That's why if you look at a VHS tape, the first part of the tape is clear. So I had to dim down the lights. But on the bright side, you can say that you have now seen the most shittiest, grainiest 4K video on YouTube. All right, well, it's the moment of truth. Let's see if the tape separates from the drum. If we hit stop. And now rewind. And it looks like the tape is still attached to the drum there. All right. So at least on this VCR, it turns out that the ad was correct. Who would have known? Looks like uh, from now on, I'm going to be using uh, the car for what it was actually intended for, which is rewinding my tapes. All right, now I'm gonna actually test this again with a different VCR, and between the two, I should have a pretty definitive answer on this. So we will be right back. Okay, so I did run the test with this VCR here, and uh, this one turns out is actually a lot more sensitive to light than the last one. I did do the test in almost complete darkness, so I didn't get any footage of it. But I can definitely tell you that uh, the tape was around the drum the whole time it was rewinding. So uh, in conclusion, I would definitely have to say that uh, I don't think I'm going to be rewinding tapes in a VCR anymore. I'm going to be using those standalone uh, VHS rewinders. You know, it doesn't seem like a big thing, but it actually would cut down on the wear and tear on the drum and on the uh, tape itself by quite a bit. So uh, yeah, I mean, if this is the sort of thing that interests you, go ahead and click subscribe down at the bottom. You can also reach me at thevideopirate.com and Twitter at the Video Pirate. Thanks and uh, see you later.